you had to wait a while because some people were trying to get their stuff together. But when oh, you got man. up there, <laughs> yo, oh, you went up there and you was snapping like a mug. Like, yes. and you was happy for a long time. You didn't have no mess ups, but something happened and kind of like stopped you, whatever, from your flow. But you was yeah. killing this, shawty. these. So I just want to know. Can you say that I remember when I pulled you and was like, yo, look at her? Because I didn't know too many people. Oh, he want all the I just, not all of it, just some of it. Just, you know, the important the part of it. Well, I'm upset that <laughs> I wasn't there at that time. So. What up, bald head and milk dud? Milk dud is watching us. Uh, Shake shot and shorty. Shake shot and shorty in the building. No. So, um. No, I dug that, though. Like, she was prepared. Yeah. Not, you know, talking about anybody else, but she was prepared. You knew what we were going to do because it was co uh, COVID mm -hmm. conditions. It was a pre-recorded, you know, so you, it was time for you to get in and get out. And when her time was there, she got in Absolutely. and got out. Well, right? if I'm being honest, I might have had a little bit more time to prepare because... I basically wrote my verse, like, right after I did my entry, like, to get chosen for the cypher. Uh -huh. I just wrote my verse, oh, just okay. in case I got chosen. Right. Uh, so oh. it was like I was kind of manifesting it, you know? Okay. Right. Um, so I kind of had it down picked by the time I got there. Oh, so you was already prepared. Yeah, like, yeah that's that, good. Though. How did you How do you have to, like, for anybody watching you, how can you get into the Philly Hip Hop Cypher? Like, you had to do what? Yeah. Well, I was a part of the People's Choice Cypher, so okay. um, I just basically made an entry video. Um, okay. You know, just rapping over any beat that I chose. Right. Um, I just did my video. I got my uh, supporters to tag them in it, and then I got noticed, and then I got chosen. So, oh, okay. okay. Just uh -huh. like that. Dope. Dope. Mm -hmm. Dope. Just like that. So how long have you been rapping? Oh, um, you took my question. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been rapping about three years now. Yeah, three years. So did you do poetry or anything before you started rapping? Um, I, I wrote poetry. I wrote a lot of things. Um, I just like to write, period. I wrote oh, okay. plays. I wrote, like, stories. Um, I wrote songs because I wanted to sing at first. I didn't want to rap, but I can't sing, so that wasn't going to work out. I was about um, to say, you sing, hit a note, but you can't you say you can't sing. Yeah, no, I'm not even about to embarrass myself over here. <laughs> she well, probably she can. She probably can. Right, I give it you know, out. I feel I like if out. you're going to do it, do it right. Right, so. yeah. She probably could sing. She just oh. teasing y'all and acting like she can't sing. It do be Maybe something. in the shower. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, my in, in the shower, it's always a great time to sing. Because I know when I be in the shower, I'm like, ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's ooh, what I'm yeah. saying. Okay, whole concert. That, yeah, that's what I'm right. saying. And that that's is the shower head. Yeah, I already know how it is. Um, I do have some more questions. Have you been performing during COVID? I know you said this is Philly Cypher and everything, but have you been performing anywhere else? I have not done any performances since COVID. But um, you have done them before, right? Yes, yeah, yes, okay. I've performed before. Um, I'm actually upset that the world kind of closed down because right? mm, I yeah. was really getting into it, um, performing like every week. Um, but now I haven't really performed at all. I'm actually performing Tuesday, though, at His and Hers. Ooh. Um, oh, that's the, the toy store? Uh, no, no, that's, no, that's, that's, in, the whole that's in Philly, right? Yeah. yeah. Is it a toy it's store? It's on South Street. No. Yeah. It's, no. it's like job. a lounge. What are you thinking yeah. of? I thought it was His and Hers sex toys or something. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm from Delaware, Sam I'm sorry. She's performing at a sex <laughs> I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> She's performing at a sex toy store. It's like, okay, so. I'm crying. So it's um a lounge. Yes, it's only okay. the lounge. <laughs> now how how are they doing that? Is it fifteen percent, twenty five percent? Like what's the <laughs> Like, I, don't, I mean, I just been, because we've been trying to get the performances going too for the artists. Mm -hmm. But right. I don't want to put any artists or any of our staff in any type of danger to try to get some exposure. So I not, again, not throwing shade. It's just more, I, I just want to be cautious, like paranoid cautious before I just go willy nilly. So like I've been in his or hers, it's a nice joint on mm -hmm. South Street. But mm -hmm. like now, What's the what's the turn? I believe up? it's twenty percent capacity. Okay. I believe. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're not lot. They're not letting a lot of people in. Okay. And when and is they put that? Up, I how many people I could bring with me? Huh? Oh, okay. When, when is, is that? that? Show? Yeah. Um, it's on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Tuesday. On Tuesday. Yeah, the show starts at eight thirty. Oh, okay. You gonna kill it? She gonna kill it. I sure hope so. Oh my yeah. God! No, no, ain't no. You are, you are. I you gonna walk in like, everybody stand the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> burr, burr, burr. Now, how does that? How does that affect you? As, for, as an artist, like you got new work. We got two songs right here, but I'm sure you got more music. Mm -hmm. But how does that affect you as an artist to put out your work when all you can do is get radio spins or put out through your your uh, internet mm -hmm. you know, outlets? You can't do anything live. Like how yeah. does that affect you? Um, it does make it a little bit harder as far as to get more people to notice me. Um, during
thing like this time I had to learn about like the Instagram algorithm right. and learning how to reach other people you know right. from my Instagram profile so like using hashtags and doing promotions and things like that um so that's helped me gain like fans outside of Philadelphia okay. um, and other places and either even other countries yeah so I guess it has its pros and its cons because one of the pros are I'm reaching people that I wouldn't have reached even if I was out performing but it's a kind because I'm not reaching the people, you know, in my city and like yeah. basically or even any other city um, because most places aren't open. Right. Oh, okay. No, I, I only asked that question because like uh, the Philly Hip Hop Awards, they did something that was iconic. Like, you know, they put something together where certain parts of it was scripted, but the other parts were virtual. So right. I'm looking at artists. Are you having to be more creative now because of the situation out of your own safety? and the venue safety to actually get your music out. So 25%, maybe 30 people show when you was bringing 100. Right. So that's going to hurt you on that end. Right, I understand what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's a hit. Like, COVID is crazy. So, no, you know what? I made a mistake. I did perform, like, during the whole COVID thing. I performed in Detroit. Oh, okay. Um, and they had, like, a, it was, like, an in-person concert and virtual at the same ah, time. Okay. So I was able to get money off of the tickets as far as in-person and that online. That is, right. So it didn't basically hurt me as much. Okay. Right. She okay. bought that bag. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Yeah, because that's, yeah, you got to do something because now the venue is losing because they don't have the the entry they can't right. do service at the bar and that's their pickup right. the artist is, is is missing because now they can't sell as much merchandise less people going to see the live edition so now it's kind of more or less like we're in a futuristic time but it's right. back in the day where you got to hear word of mouth now yeah because right. there's no there's no tape now because covid got everybody home right. <laughs> COVID so, sucks, yo. oh we we gosh. had covid yeah, we well, did. Well, we did. Oh, y'all did. He did. No, no, no. I stayed. Yeah. No, no, no. Listen, it was a while ago. It was in December, but yeah, still. Yeah. So we, we're, we're clear we're now. I'm glad yeah. you guys are okay. Thank, Thank you. Because you. I was sick as a dog. I, I couldn't <laughs> taste and smell. I'm like, uh, and my, my favorite, like, fast food restaurant is Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. So I like Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one. And they she got the best I'm addicted. Like, they the do. Best They're so food. polite. <laughs> they are. For sure. So, so let me ask you a question. So who inspired you to do music? Who inspired me to do music? Mm -hmm. Like, period. Or who inspired me to rap? Who inspired you to rap? Okay, so I would kind of say that I kind of got like two inspirations um, from rapping. So I'm not gonna lie, Cardi B came out with Bodak Yellow, and yeah. I really, really liked it. Yeah. And I, you know, I follow Cardi B already. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going viral on, you know, social media platforms, and then seeing her on Love and Hip Hop, so kind of knowing her story a little bit. Right. So to see her song do so well, it was like, oh man, I really like this song. Let me remix it and mm -hmm. see what I can say. You know, so I did it. I let people hear it, and it was like, oh, you know, you've been sitting on this talent. How y'all didn't tell us? We could have been rich by now. So that kind of inspired me yeah. to keep on going. Right. And just to see, like, um, if I could do it. Also, my wife, um, Ooh. <laughs> my wife, Cadence, she kind of inspired me to rap, too. Um, she was, like, one of the main people telling me to keep pushing my pen. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, to keep pushing my pen and that I could, you know, do it. Being an inspiration, because she's an artist as well. She sings, she raps, and things like that. Oh, okay. Um, but, yeah, she was, like, one of the main people, as well as Cardi B. She's definitely my inspiration. I don't care what nobody say right. about her, okay? I'm biased when it comes to her. <clears throat> no, I but, love me some Cardi B and my friend. She she a Nicki Minaj fan, so you know the I mean, comparison. I mean, I like Nicki, too. Like, it's just that... I don't like yeah, her. I mean, no. I like Cardi. Like, she's very personable. Like, she, she act like one of my friends, somebody that I right. know, you know? So, yeah. she's more, um, I guess, relatable. I know you've seen that Up video. Yeah. She definitely, <laughs> her last couple visuals that she's been dropping are really, really dope. Like, she's getting really, really creative. Yeah. Um, and it's been really, really good. I actually um, like that video compared to the um, Megan Thee Stallion crybaby. Mm -hmm. I actually like Cardi B but a video way better. Like she what? did a great job, different scenes. Mm -hmm. It so, was fire. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but we got a phone call that just came through. So we yeah. curious, like George, to find out who it is because it might be for you. <laughs> call her, call her, call her. Who is it? What's your name? You're on the air. Who? Camilla. Hey, 
Camilla. Hey. Hi, Camilla. Hey. <laughs> so what you want to what did you want to talk about, Camilla? Time is money. I know, right? Okay. Time is money, bro. It is. So you wanted to shout out the artist King Chaos? All right. Hi, <laughs> and, and, and we appreciate you for doing that, Camilla. Thanks Listen, for calling. And we appreciate we love it. you, Camilla. I just, you know. Thank you, Camilla. Fantastic. Camilla is a big fan of the show. She is. Yes. She listens all the time. Every she's from day. California. She sounds like she's a big fan yes, of the show. She's like, oh my God, I got a hold of you and stuff like that. So yeah. Shout we out love Camilla. Camilla. Very nice. Shout out to Camilla. So, okay, besides Cardi B, do you have any other female rappers that you like that, you know? Um, yes. Ooh, I, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I Honestly, I listen to more underground female rappers oh, than okay. I do, like, mainstream. Like, I like, you know, Megan Thee Stallion. I like Nicki, uh, Nicki Minaj. I like Remy Ma, you know, all things of that nature. Um, but from, like, Philly, I like Mecca C. Um, I like Lil Sis. I like Rocky. Um, yeah, you got a song with her. Um, I got a song with Rocky Bad from Detroit, but I meant Philly Rocky. Oh, okay. I like yeah. her as well. Okay. Um, but that brought me to my next point. I like Rocky Bad from Detroit. I also listen to this girl. Her name is Effie. Um, so those are really some dope artists that people should check out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I listen to a lot of people. I can kind of go all day. So what <laughs> do you bring different to the to the industry? Like, what what do you bring different to the the rap scene? You bring the chaos, right? Um, <laughs> In the bag. <laughs> I guess I feel like what, what makes me different, um, uh, I guess my bars, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't mean to disrespect anybody. No. Right. Um, no, but no, no, no. I feel like Mm-mm. a lot of people don't put a lot of thought behind their bars now. Like, mm. right. I actually, like, I'm in the dictionary. I'm in the, you know, all that, the, the stories, mm-hmm. making sure that I'm writing the right things and I'm right. using the right words. And right. if if something don't sound too good, I'm going back and I'm redoing right. it. Like, no, I'm going to redo this verse. And I feel like a lot of people don't do that. They just put out whatever. Right. Um, and sometimes their bars don't make no sense. Yeah. Um, that makes so, for a good rapper. Like, that's that's right. really good that you do that. Because, like you said, they put out some books. You, nice. you know what I also uh, think was very unique is your name, King Chaos. Yes, I wanted to get mm-hmm. into that, too. Mm-hmm. Especially, okay. you know, because you're a female and it's like, King. At mm-hmm. first, I thought, like, oh, that's, that's uh, a like nigga a name. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah. a nigga, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> that's, that's very unique, though. It makes people, like, wonder, like, hmm. Why do you call yourself King Especially if you know she's a female already. Right. It's like, yeah, well, why? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, first, it just was chaos. But I've come to realize... I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, yeah. I've come to realize that there are a lot of chaos um, rappers and, mm-hmm. and other people yeah. out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so then I decided to name myself King Chaos. And the reason that I chose King and not Queen is because I don't feel like a queen. Like, I know that I'm a lady, mm-hmm. you know, but I'm also like a real... Nigga, right? So it's like, <laughs> you know that's what I classify myself as. So it's like that's why I prefer to use King, and then I put a Q because I am a lady. So right. Like, you know, the Q, I, the Q, I like whatever. that. But thank you, I appreciate. Yeah, it. I like that a lot. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> so we want to get into one of your songs. You got the the music ready? Yeah, I'm good. Lucifer. I mean, we Lucifer. started off with uh, yeah. with a bag at yeah. the Rocky bag. With a Rocky bag. So, bag at. Uh, I, I want a bag. <laughs> I got stashed. I want a bourbon. What's it called? A bourbon bag? A, a bourbon. A bourbon. A bourbon. Bur- 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 like, I don't want no bur- I'll get a, 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 a Burlington bag. I'll be satisfied with that. I don't need no Birkin. <laughs> so I it got stash Birkin. it. You want to do stash it? Yeah, let's do stash it. Unless what? she got some exclusives you we got can some drop. Exclusives? I always love the exclusives. Oh, man. Let me think about it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. We got some time. We're going to hit him with the stash it. Oh, and then we're going to play a couple of indie artists as well. All right. 